Right, well, I have her on the track now, and uh, she's all ready to go. Um, she's been, uh, she has an address for the decoder now, and um, so she's ready to go, but I, I will want to point out one thing before we get started, is um, I, do, I did leave out a couple pieces of uh, detail. Um, I actually didn't put these on because um, these, um, some of these parts have uh, problems um, with uh, the locomotive's performance. For example, um, it does give you two more um, steps to fit on to the front part of the locomotive right here. But um, I noticed that um, if you have uh, even third radius curves, um, that when it goes around curves, actually kind of knocks those out of place even if you have some strong glue on them so it kind of interferes with that uh, it also gives you one of these which a lot of locomotives give you now from Bachman uh, which are actually yeah, coupling links uh, these are like like fake or fake couplings um, that look really nice if you hang them over the, um, the coupling hook on the front or the back but I noticed that it catches on the tension lock couplings on either uh, side of the train, um, or either on the locomotive or on what's been coupled up to it, and that presented a problem. So I decided not to put on this one because I will be using. I was going to remove the NEM coupling from the front of this one, but I thought to myself, well, it is a, sh a shunter locomotive. Uh, it is used for that as well. So um, I'll probably keep it on. Therefore, I'll probably put it on um, some kind of express passenger class locomotive. Um, in the future. So, now we're going to uh, have her run on the track, and that high-pitched noise you hear is not the locomotive, it's the, the uh, Hornby DCC uh, system, and I'm not sure some of you get that sound on yours, but I definitely get that on mine, I'm not sure why, but it doesn't bother me too much. So, as we start out here, You'll notice she's running, but at a very low speed, and she she's able to do that because uh, the mechanism for the drive mechanism is so nice. It's very nice that it's able to do that at that speed. And now we're going to speed her up. There she goes. And around the bend. And into the station. And really she looks great with any type of crane. Either if you even even if you decide to use this locomotive for freight, it looks good. Although, I don't think I've seen this locomotive hauling freight before, even on YouTube videos. Another thing is there's no type of clicking or resistance of the side rods or any type of the drive mechanism. It all runs very smoothly. However, I do um, recommend, after a couple weeks of getting there, that you um, apply some lubrication to the mechanism, all the whole locomotive actually. And um, to tell you the truth, this, this locomotive is fairly new and I haven't really had a chance to run her in yet. So I'll, me I'll be needing to do that actually with most of my locomotives. But this one is not loud at all. Um, no type of um, any anything, no no kind of high pitched whine or anything from this new locomotive is running. The only thing you hear is right now is the sound of the wheels on the track. And that's not her top speed, but I usually don't like to run her any faster than that because I don't want to wear out the mechanism or anything like that.
she's pulling into the station now. All right. Well, um, this locomotive has been very impressive um, to my standards, uh, especially for the price. Um, you usually don't get this type of detail and quality with um, uh, this amount of money. Uh, even if you pay ninety dollars, most locomotives don't give you this much detail. And so, for that, uh, I'm definitely going to give her uh, nine out of ten. Uh, seeing that the packaging is very well done, the detail is outstanding, and the drive mechanism is pristine. So, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.